Hi everyone, in, the, in this section we are going to implement the add item from the list view. In the previous video we implemented the list view and the event listener for each item. Today we're going to um, implement how to add and remove items from the list. So for example if I click on the plus um, sign here I can uh, add another item for example I can say um, Good evening. Now I can click OK. And uh, as you can see, the item has been added here at the bottom. So, as always, a reminder if you enjoy the videos, if you find it helpful, um, consider subscribing to the channel. It'll uh, help uh, continue the channel. So, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do, we need to go into activity main.xml. And we need to add the floating act, the floating action button. So I'm going to say floating action uh, button, and um, I'm going to give it a width of 150 dp and a height also 150 dp, an ID of uh, add phrases button or btn I think is more appropriate and um, I want to align uh, I want to say layout align pattern button true and layout align pattern end also true uh, next I want to say um, Layout margin n, this is going to be 10 dp, and layout margin bottom also 10 dp. I want to set the background tint to color action button background. And the source is going to be in drawable and I see add black. And that is it for the button. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right, so it looks great. So now, going into main activity, um, the first thing that we need to do, we need to um, instance, uh, create a variable for the floating uh, action button. And then we need to create a reference to that button using the ID. Uh, underneath the list view set on item click listener, we're going to implement another click listener. And this time it's going to be for the add phrase button. So I'm going to say um, add phrase button that set on click listener and uh, here I'm going to say view on click listener and inside the on click method I'm going to uh, add a, met a method that I haven't created yet which is add phrase dialog box Okay, so let's go and implement that method, which is, uh, we're going to implement it outside the onCreate method. I'm going to say alert dialog box for add new items to list view. This is going to be a private method. Add phrase dialog box. Here I'm going to say final alert dialog dot builder equals new alert dialog box builder. 
and I'm going to use a style which I haven't created yet. I'm going to call it dialog box. All right, so what we're doing here, we are implementing the alert dialog box when we click on the button. And this is an alert dialog box. So we can enter a new item and click OK. So next, um, I am going to say alert dialog set title. And for the title, I'm going to call it add phrase. I'm going to say in final edit text. And this is going to be the edit text for us to enter a new item. So I'm going to call it input equals new edit text, get context, comma, alert dialog, set view, input. We need to set the input into the alert dialog box, an alert dialog set icon. R I D actually R drawable. I see comment black underscore twenty four, and uh, we need to add this icon which we hadn't done yet. All right, so as part of the alert dialog box, we need to implement uh, two methods. One being the set positive button, and the other one is the set negative button. We're just going to place. We're just going to place two different buttons here and the action to be taken when a button is clicked. So I'll say alert dialog set positive button. This one is going to be okay. New dialog interface. And uh, here I'm going to place the logic for what's going to happen when the uh, when the OK button is pressed. So I'm going to say string item equals input the get text. And then we need to add the item to the phrases array, but uh, as you know, um, uh, arrays are immutable in Java. So Instead of an array, a string array, we're going to use an array list of type string. Okay, and this is going to make it easier for us. And so here, we only have to do uh, phrases add in the item. Then we need to uh, notify the adapter. So we'll say adapter. A notify data change, and uh, we also going to create a toast here. That says item added. And here uh, we need to say dot create. And this is going to create the OK button. So we need to do the same thing for the um, for the cancel button. So I will say alert dialog set negative cancel new dialog unclick listener. And in here, we're going to place the logic for when the uh, cancel button gets clicked. So I'm going to say dialog. And here, I'm going to say show, or actually create. And I'll let dialog show. And uh, so let's go ahead and correct this section here, because uh, now it should be that get position. So that's one uh, thing that we need to correct. The other thing that we need to correct is this, because now we uh, we uh, getting the the uh, string array from the string resource file 
and uh, setting the array list equals to the string. So we need to say arrays as list. All right. And so this uh, cast the array into an array list. And so next we need to implement the uh, the icon. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so one side note that I wanted to make before running the activity is that instead of um, get application context, uh, what we need to use inside the alert dialog box is the name of the activity dot this. So that's the only thing that I replaced. So let's go ahead and test the application. So I'm going to click the plus sign button. I'm going to enter hello world. Click OK. And as you can see, has been out of here. And so that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, see you in the next video.